The UFC will never allow anyone to box again. Want to know why? It's all because of Conor McGregor. Allow us to fill in the blanks here. The entire May Max saga did not really end well for the promotion. It laid the blueprints of all the things the UFC should never repeat again. It makes MMA look weak. MMA fans swear that their sport is far more intriguing than boxing. However, when the top stars in MMA go after boxing paydays, it highlights a bad side of the sport. Fighter pay is a long-standing issue and it's a problem the UFC needs to address internally. Having their fighters jump ship to box Jake Paul for massive paydays has already damaged the promotion. And the last thing the UFC needs is to have their champions lose in a different sport for a payday they won't see in their own sport ever again. Losing their cash cow. Not only did their biggest cash cow, i.e. Conor McGregor, lose in front of the whole world, but the UFC also suffered dearly because of McGregor's inactivity. Neither the featherweight nor the lightweight title was ever defended during that time. Moreover, Conor hasn't been the same ever since he struck gold. He has collected more losses than wins, he's been inactive and clearly not motivated enough like his yesteryears to compete. Even though the UFC president Dana White claims that dealing with the Irish superstar is quite easy. Although if you really look at the flip side of things, Conor's antics over the years and all the trouble he's been a part of must have been a serious pain to deal with. His motivation has definitely taken a hit as the star has been seen partying more often than spending time in the gym takes the power away from the UFC. If the star power of a fighter supersedes the brand, then it bids bad news for all parties involved. Piling more misery on all the madness of the fight game that includes crazy contract negotiations, fighter injury, and other miscellaneous issues. If a fighter's star power is helping him rope in more money from other sources, it will most likely keep them away from the octagon, thereby making the promotion look weak and downplaying their power to book them frequently. And more importantly, building a superstar is no easy task. It takes an insane amount of investment and a massive marketing campaign to turn a fighter into a global phenom. And after going through all the hoops and hurdles, a promotion simply can't have the fighter sitting on the sidelines. It doesn't make any business sense at all. Crossing sports is a bad idea. Dana has tried a couple of times to take his fighter to a different promotion. He took Chuck Liddell to Pride only to have him lose to Rampage or a different sport, Conor vs Mayweather. In both instances, he suffered losses that very well hindered the marketability of the entire roster. Time and time again, UFC champions like Kamaru Usman, Francis Ngannou, and Sean O'Malley have called out top talents in boxing for a super fight, seeking a similar payday that Conor McGregor once had. But the UFC has adamantly denied them to do so with the sole intention of keeping their roster's reputation intact. Moreover, top boxing stars won't ever make the transition to MMA, case in point being the James Tony experiment against Randy Couture. This will only make MMA stars seem a bit desperate for a big payday, which will shine a bright light on the fighter pay issue once again. All in all, these things are bad news and won't help the UFC at all.